Good morning, it's drive time with Robin and African Payment Solutions. Today we're going to talk about banks and mobile money. The fact that mobile money is kind of eating into the banking sector's turf and um, how that's transforming across the African continent. Uh, there was a very good article recently by the Africa Report um, showing us how uh, online payments and the banking landscape is changing um, with the uh, mobile money providers now moving into banking services. That's kind of giving them a hard time. Um, mobile money is the dominant way to pay across Africa and now effectively almost any African consumer can buy goods and services if they have internet and a mobile phone using mobile money. So these banks, the poor banks, they are having a tough time because there's a loosening up of legislation in a number of countries which allows them to compete and provide bank-like services to their consumers. <coughs> and MNOs have such an advantage because, you know, they have the person at the end of the phone line they know quite a lot about their habits. Um, yes, they can communicate with them cost effectively. So they have quite a significant advantage over the banks. And they can bundle services like you know, data and voice and banking services to lower their cost of provision and increase their return from value added services. So it's quite hard for the banks to compete with that. Uh, an example is Ghana, where the online payment methods like MTN Mobile Money, Airtel, Tigo, and Vodafone Cash um, are used by almost half the population, and it's the fastest growing um, mobile money market in Africa. In, in Ghana, for example, um, MTN Mobile Money has almost 90% of the transactional market share, and it's really hard for any uh, one else to compete like that. Uh, MNOs are dominant in certain countries like Mpesa in Kenya, where Mpesa, Safari comes and Mpesa has more than 60% market share and 80% market share when it comes to Mpesa. So banks are also just not that good at competing. You know, their cost of customer acquisition and servicing a customer is relatively high. So the MNOs who are really have a way of servicing their customers really don't have a high cost to add services to their bundle. Governments around the world are also pushing hard for financial inclusion so uh, it's a lot easier with MNOs to loosen up the legislation, allow them to provide loans and other services that are from a bank like, bank -like uh, which can catalyze the financial uh, inclusion across the continent. They've kind of realized that it's good for economic growth, it's good for business, and it's good for the country. So that's why they're loosening up the legislation now. And this is good news for e-commerce because, you know, we've got uh, all these payment methods uh, that can be um, activated at the checkout. And so it just increases the size of the pie. So if you are looking for uh, payment at the checkout uh, using mobile money, which is pretty much the dominant uh, way of paying, uh, and cards in Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, then give us a shout at africanpaymentsolutions.com and we'll see how we can get you sorted. Well, I hope that was useful and interesting for you, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day today. Goodbye.